How's it going guys? Today I got a really exciting video for you. Uh, I got a comment request uh, not too long ago. This comment came from Thick Raccoon. He says, do you reckon you could make an a audio visualizer looking keyboard? So initially when I was thinking about this design, I was like, man, this is going to be a really difficult design. Um, first of all, it's going to have like waves galore set up and it's not really going to be possible for me to make it go with music or anything like that so i did a little bit of research and i actually found that uh the razor website creates a program and has a program that you can download and install and it will go to music and everything like that and so it basically sets everything up for you and it makes it really easy so unlike a lot of my previous videos i'm not going to be into razor synapse into the uh, chroma chroma configurator um, setting up waves and stuff like that this has nothing to do with layers this is just a program that you'll install from their website and after you install it from their website you can tweak some settings and stuff and set it up however you want so yeah guys that's the bottom line this video is to show you guys how to set up an audio visualizer on your razor keyboard and we're going to do it right now so uh, let's go all right guys so here i am at uh razor's website this is specifically in the uh, chroma workshop under apps so in here they have all kinds of different applications that you can use with um, uh, your Razer Synapse program. Uh, what we're looking for right here is the second application. It's the audio visualizer. And you can find a link for this exact page down in the description below. But uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit download on audio visualizer. And then once that's downloaded, we're going to go ahead and click on our download and we're going to go ahead and open up this file here and we're going to open keyboard visualizer VC 3.06 and I'm going to extract files and I'm going to extract them to my downloads folder here. You can pick whatever folder you want. So once I have them extracted, I'm going to go ahead and click on this file. And then after you double click on that file, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna right click on this application here. And you're gonna wanna send this to your desktop to create a shortcut. So once I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and close my windows. Okay guys, so now that we've made the shortcut, you can see right here, I have my shortcut out here. Um, what you're also gonna wanna do before you open this is you want to be logged into Razor Synapse. So, go ahead and click on your razor synapse and make sure you are logged in if you're not logged in then this application is not going to affect your keyboard at all all right guys so once you guys have launched synapse and you've confirmed that you're logged in then you can go ahead and close that window and we can open up our application so what you're going to get is this little box right here so um and in this box you can change all sorts of things if you're not playing any music at all, what you're gonna see is the background mode. Right now it's set on original, which is what you're looking at right now on the keyboard. It's uh, this rainbow pattern that's uh, basically got some motion to the right. And if you wanna change that, you just go to this background mode and you can change this to um, whatever pre-select mode they have in here. So, um, what I'm gonna go with is this color wheel right here. I think this looks pretty cool. All right guys, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start playing a little bit of music. And this is just a song that I found on the uh, YouTube albums, um, the royalty free stuff that you can download. So I'm just gonna get this going. Um, as, as you can see, like I got my volume way down. And because of that, uh, the audio visualizer is not really picking it up. So what you gotta do is you gotta mess with your amplitude here. If your music is down low, you're gonna have to increase this amplitude by a lot. So I'm gonna turn it up to a thousand 
I've still not really seeing a whole lot, so I'm gonna go ahead and back it up and I'm gonna go to like 5,000. So now you can see it's starting to, um, starting to make some waves on my keyboard here. So this, right now it's really busy. If you want to just see the audio visualizer and you want a, a black background, you have to check mark this box that says silent background. That way, when the music's going, you just see the visualizer like this. So to change your visualizer effect and your color, that's going to be your foreground mode. So we're going to go ahead and drop this box down. And I like the color wheel. You guys can choose whatever you want. They have some really cool stuff in here. They have some of the normal stuff that you see on your effects like spectrum cycle and rainbow and stuff like that. But I'm going to go with the color wheel just because it's kind of new to me and I like the way it looks. So now I got my color wheel going on here and I can kind of see here in this preview what it's going to look like on my keyboard. If you're not seeing levels as high as mine, like I said, you're going to have to play around with the amplifier a bit. Background brightness, that's going to be your your background color brightness obviously. So if I have my background on here, if I want to drop this down to like 10. So now I can kind of have some light in those other keys, but um, there's more light and the audio visualizer. Another thing I like to do in this program is I like to take the average mode right here and I have to I like to change it to low pass. It changes um, it changes it to like a mountainous like kind of rounded peaks and valleys instead of having it be like lines like this. So go with what you like. I like low pass. Alright guys so uh, the biggest things I can tell you about this program right here, I'm going to save my settings, but uh, you don't want to press enter when you're in any of these boxes because if you press enter in there, it closes the window for some reason and then it takes the effect away. Like it, it dropped the visualizer effect and it went back to my regular chroma synapse lighting as you can see on my keyboard. So if you want to keep the visualizer on you have to keep the app open you have to open it and you have to just minimize it that's one of the downfalls that i see to this application not too bad but you just can't ever close it another thing you want to do is make sure once you have all your settings in there the way you like it hit save because if you don't hit save and you just hit enter by accident it's going to close your window and it resets all of your settings all right guys so that's going to do it for this video if you guys have any questions if you guys download this program and you're having troubles getting it going please feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section i'll try my best to uh um, help you guys figure out any issues that you guys might have with this program feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below and tell me which settings you like best on this program i'd really like to know your guys' thoughts and see what you guys are using from this program but that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thick Raccoon, I hope this uh, answers all your questions, and I hope you uh, have a lot of fun with this program. If you guys are interested in getting any lighting effects on your keyboard, please feel free to leave a comment in the section below uh, and tell me what design you guys might want to see on your keyboard. I would, I'll try my best to uh, create something for you. Like always, you can find me on my social media accounts, Instagram, Twitter, and you can also find me on Twitch four nights a week. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.